Oh boy, okay, I have my idea what I'm trying to think of right now, but hey everyone, Sun Tenno Guy here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Rejuvenation. In the last episode, we made it to Route 4, and I explained how big this area is, like it is still a massive area. And I told you how many Pokemon there are, and that there are countless and countless of Pokemon in either the tall grass, which again, it doesn't really matter much of which area, area you're in with the wild grass, there can, they're just mostly the same thing. Ray did, on the other hand. On the other hand, each of each one has a different set of Pokemon. Now, I'm gonna show y'all how the Raiden system works in this game. First off, just like Gen 8, save your game. After that, throw in on your Rift Rack. Again, I've already done this, and I got one of the Pokemon that I want. After that, a little beam of light will appear. Talk to it again, it'll show you what Pokemon are within the den. However, there are two forms of this light. I'm gonna now go ahead and keep soft resetting until I get that blue light. That I would like. So, I will see you all in the bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time trying to get the blu ray den to appear, so we're just going to use this as an example. Let's speed up one again. So, first up, we have Graveler. Oh, look at that. It him as a stone jerk. Stone, stone turner. I probably still said that name wrong over here. So basically, what you what you need to do is, just like if you were battling um the big bosses that have that little HP kind of gauge and shield, you need to do the exact same thing here. Except, you do not want to make a Pokemon faint. If you do, they're gone. But of course, they're not like gone, gone for good. However, this is just to show off a demonstration as to how the Raid Dish works. And there's a lot. Still, still you get like good amount of experience. And after defeating them, you get Red Essence. Now, if you were to capture them, instead, you get 500 red essence. You go into your gather queue to see um, how many essence you have collected. And, yeah, that's the basics of the raid dent. Thankfully, you don't need to deal with shout Pokemon being Thankfully, you don't need to deal with Shadow Pokemon, at least. Wow, they just popped in there. Some of this area you cannot fully explore, though, by the way. Like, like uh, some areas are inac inaccessible. What do you do? Oh, you're a gym. You're a battler. I don't know why I was about to see gym battle. I was probably saying, oh hey, are we over here at the next gym battle? That would make so much sense. Love this. The weird yet interesting Pokemon. Okay, so 
hasn't uh, got anywhere close to hatching. I want to make sure to actually, uh... Shoot. I want to make sure to actually uh, hatch the egg before um, we continue any further on with, with the story for certain reasons. Trust me, there's reasons. to send us off with this supply bag. Came with a tin and two sleeping bags. Empty. Hey Nim, how close are we to Akuma Town? Uh, we're not too far now. We just have to follow the path up north and we're there. Tubular, we're making good record breaking time. Me? I'm fine. I'm totally fine. There's nothing weird at all. In fact, I'm going to prove it by giving you a wiki fun fact. Did you know you could dip your french fries into- <laughs> Are you- <laughs> Oh my god, it's the thing that we kids do so many times whenever it's with McDonald's, Burger King, Sonic, Wendy's, Whataburger, like any of those restaurants. There's always moments when we were kids where we dip our fries in milkshakes. Even here they do it too. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Huh, I guess I never thought to try that. Maybe next time. It's very good. Uh, anyway, what's so important about Akuma Town and this sake blackery? I mean, do you guys really have to go? 
can't so tell why they're doing it so we can get this so we can get this snack machine repaired. We've been constantly battling against Team Zen and even stumbled into their shout Pokemon production site. That place is destroyed now, though, so there may not be many shadows left. But as long as they exist, we cannot let Team Zen use them for evil. Oof! Um, about that. What? Shadow Pokemon are native to this place because of Zen's experiments. Well, isn't that just awesome? I'm gonna knock a Zen grunt out the next time I see one. Oh, that was still Alita speaking. Whoopsies! It's horrible, but that's what Cheerio said to, to us a bit before. Well, first of well, first and foremost, we have to be Team Zen so they can stop all types of production. It's the only way, and frankly, I think clearing Route 4 of all Shout Pokemon may be too big of a jump for us. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, I'm gonna get a little bit of shed eye. We may be close, but dang, I'm tired. Let's get some good rest, everyone. Meanwhile, back with Riz. <sighs> what do I even do at this point? Everything was for that moment, and I blew it. Subtend and Alita? Why didn't I join them? Am I just too much of a coward? It'll be just fine without me. Feeling lost? Oh, shoot. Y you! What do you want, Crescent? Get out of here! You really want me to leave right now? That's what I said. You sure do look lonely, though. Seems like life wasn't very kind to our little friend Rin, huh? Are you making fun of me? On the contrary, I'm emphasizing, if anything. I know that it's like to be in your position. The grief of losing someone or something is quite powerful. If that thing was everything, then well, what else is there to lose? What do you want from me? Let's chat. Why do I have a very bad feeling of what Kersan's about to do? Or Kersant? Alrighty, we did sleep very long, but I'm ready to go. Akua Town is just up ahead, people. Let's get, let's get it done. And yeah, it looks like we are by ourselves now. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I don't want to run to any train. I spoke too soon. Just because you have that right key. Low and right here, that doesn't mean Delphon can still do so. I'll shut up. Oh, I just remembered that it's raining out here. Not what I was expecting. Gum shoes. Who's gum shoes? Oh. The way how Super Fang works, it uh, cuts your HP in half. However, it does. That's all it's gonna be good for. It to just cut your opponent's HP in half. You're not gonna get much else of it after after using it like one time. So 
So like I said, for example, here's your HP right here. Let's just use this as an example. So after using Super Fade, about maybe right here is where I'll be taking the most damage. After that, Super Fade just kind of starts doing like lesser and lesser damage. So in reality, I don't recommend Super Fade. I recommend the Hyper Fade though. Yes, ma'am, I did see devils in a weird way. Oh, is this the den? I mean, excuse me, is this the, uh... Oh, yeah, never mind, it, it was called den. So, this guy here is not only the owner of Route 4 in a way, he also has other stuff. Well, mint, I see you made it to my purple up. Since we're the essence, we have to interact with the din. Yes, very good. That's good. Very, very good, good, good. That means you gotta save the Pokemon from the budget of the gun. Red Essence is the re residue found with his dins. It is the residue left behind from Shell Pokemon for war. Actually, I've been researching and collecting Red Essence. Find red essence, we should bring them here. I'll be happy to part ways with valuable items in exchange for them. We found them. It was the first book I rescued from those dastardly dead. I purged the evil within its heart, and it's been with me ever since. As much as I enjoy its company, I must say that I have intentionally neglected it. It needs a partner worthy enough. Try again. <clears throat> it needs a partner worthy enough to take care of it. So, right here is Chef's Pen. This is where you can actually get your first ever starter Pokemon. However, it's not by the badges, but by the Red Essence. From what I read, you need to have 10 thousand red essence in order to get this chest pit. Yeah, that's quite a lot. Oh, he looks cool. I don't think... I think in version 12 he was not um... in here. I think it was just... I think he replaced some um... old NPC. money that I could waste. Ah, oh, dang, I have to talk to him again. Choice in. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what these are for. What these are for is that if you have a shadow Pokemon on you, this can help lower their gauge, actually. I'm guessing the more expensive it is, the more of that Pokemon's gauge it can do. Let's look at that red essence shot. So we got bike voucher, knock towel. I thought he would have more. Two thousand red essence. Um, you're all probably wondering what um these crests are. I have no clue, so I can't give you much of an answer. Future me, if you can possibly do that for me, that would be a big help. I love it how it's still using that freaking um, door slammer thing from the uh, truck guy. Look at the fragment shop, and I'll buy. Ooh, 15 red fragments. And I still have plenty of money. You know what, I'll buy some more. Ladies and gentlemen, I just now realized I'm above the 200... I'm above the 100,000 digit numbers. If I wanted to, on my own time by the way, I could get this chest in here. 
but there's also another area that has raid dens. And there's two Pokemon there that I want to get in those dens, but they require a lot of essence. And of course, a Rift Fragment. Uh, let's see. Before I do anything else, I want to, you know, explore the area. Oh, there's a track. By the way, I took, I looked up on the um, the wiki for the game. Uh, there are no pin items in this area. Technically, by the straightforward path. Yep. Instead, I want to go. Instead, I want to go this way. There's a rift in that's available if I can get to it though. Oh, it's just you, Sotendo. What's up? Don't think we'll see each other again so soon. Mostly, my dear. Is there someone there? My goodness. Oh, please, excuse me. I did not know you had guests. It's okay, my man. This is just my friend, Satendo. Pleasure to meet you. As mostly said, my name is my man. Bridget, my man. I wonder if I'm even saying that right. What brings you to my garden? I'm not sure myself. Mm-hmm. Lost and thus was found. I take it that you are a Pokemon trainer? They sh they sure are. Satendo literally saved my life back in Golden Town, too. Well then, my friend, on behalf of Lil Mose here, if you need a place to stay, my home is yours too. Actually, if this is a bar, do you mind if I ask you a favor? On your journey, there are a multi multiple of lost souls roaming about Flora Island. Aimlessly. I can sense about, I say, 11. If you find children in need of a home, please send them here. I have plenty of food and shelter to provide. Good day to you, Santendo. Oh, my man. Always wanting to be the good guy. Oh, it actually is a guy. Oh. You didn't even realize how creepy that can sound. Well, no pressure, Nintendo. My man really is a kind. Okay, so it's a girl. My God. A little too kind sometimes. She doesn't realize how some of her words can sound. It's up to you if you want to help her out or not. But if you want advice from your pal, mostly I will. See you, Nintendo. New quest discovered. Check your quest log for more details. There's a low tech here. Can I actually... Let me actually see. Give me a sec. Ah! Excuse me. Oh, wow, they really changed up the place. There's a little garden. There's a little uh, cave and a little waterfall back here. I guess that's the way you can have some fresh water. doing that side quest. Lost Souls. 
Mamein is looking for lost souls to house in her garden. I think she means lost children. Why does she know that there are 11 lost children? That's kind of strange. Mostly trust her, though. Through and she seems to be very kind, searching the entire island. Blind is pointless. I'll have to ask my man for guidance. So our task is to find 11 lost souls. And every time we're lost or trying to find them, we can go to my man for details. But like I said, well, I'm going to go ahead and end off today's episode. And next time on Pokemon Rejuvenation, we're going to be doing the Lost Souls quest. If you enjoyed today's episode, please share, like, subscribe if you want to. And I will see... Actually, you know what? We're not going to do that quest just yet for reasons. Anyway, I will see you all later. Okay, so before, once again, we end off today's episode again, finally, I got a blue light to appear. When these blue lights appear, that means a much rarer Pokemon has appeared. So, let's go ahead and show off, let's go ahead and see what it is. Technia. How nice. I am not really in- Of course he's gonna take out. Wait, what'd that move do? You know what, just in case I'm going to capture it that way, I can at least get, um, some high amount of, uh, red acid. Okay, now, that's going to be it for today's episode. See y'all later.